Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Erica Martin, weather rate certified nine years in a row. Thank you for watching Midday. We're going to jump right into our radar eye or satellite blend here because this is really important. I'm about to show you some lightning strikes we just picked up due to that prefrontal forcing I've been telling you about. So there's your cold front. You can see just how active the winds are. But anytime you get this really strong or dense air mass pushing through, essentially moving that other air mass along, it's so dense. We're certainly seeing some activity also seeing some lifting. All of those ingredients together will certainly lead to some lightning strikes. Look at these picked up earlier at approximately 1238 p.m. So kind of active out there, right? That's due to that prefrontal forcing. So amazing what happens anytime you have to kind of also think about aura graphics and how everything relates to the mountain ranges. So super important there. This is why we are seeing some aura graphics as far as the snow showers go. And again, some convection as well in the form of those lightning strikes again also picking up on some light lake enhancement not much going on but still very active out there very dynamic weather for this Tuesday midday a live look outside Brighton ski resorts get your skiing in guys it's so fun out there it's gonna get colder for tonight and tomorrow morning so of course we'll give you your update on what it looks like outside at Brighton current wind profile really active 23 miles per hour for Milford 26 for Provo Salt Lake City 24 miles per hour for you and 32 for Rock Springs. We have our high wind alerts starting uh, later tonight at 8 p.m. and ending tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. That's the advisory and the warning already in effect starting at noon through 8 p.m. tonight. So we're not done yet. Additionally, we have to track these winter weather alerts that have been issued by the National Weather Service. We've already been seeing our fair share of precip, freezing precip as well, including some grapple. Very impressive. Future cast. Let's kick this out a future, a couple of hours into the future. Of course, that's what it does. It's a future cast right hour by hour. We do have a ridge of high pressure building after this system clears. Notice how we're still seeing some remnant snow showers early tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Uh, frontal boundary will pass to the east of us and a ridge starts to develop. So we'll be tracking the next story in inversion. A quick thank you to IG at Regos underscore photos for your Christmas star image. We love it. We got a lot of great images. We just happened to pick this one. St. George, your extended forecast for today. We're going to see 61, 54 for Christmas. Miss and mix of sun and clouds. Wants that front tracking those snow showers.